Hi everyone, this is Deekshit. Welcome to my channel. In this particular video, I'm going to discuss about File Provisioner. File Provisioner is basically is used to copy the files from machine where you're executing Terraform commands to the newly created resources. So it can be in any cloud providers like uh, AWS, Azure, and GCP. In my case, uh, to explain this File Provisioner, I am taking AWS EC2 instance. So what I'm trying to do is I'm copying one of the HTML and uh, SH file onto my EC2 machine. So I've already uh, pushed my code onto the GitHub. And if you want to replicate the same thing in your machine, so you can go ahead and you can clone or fork this particular repository and you can execute it in your machines. So the repo name is Terraform. I'm gonna leave this link in description. You can refer uh, this repo by just like uh, looking in description. And uh, in this repo, so I'm going inside the provisioner folder. Inside provisioner folder, I have three fold, four folders basically. Inside this, uh, right now in this video, I'm discussing about file provisioner. So go inside this file provisioner and I have a couple of files. So AWS uh, INY underscore lappy.pm pem file. So this file is used for logging into my EC2 machine. I'm gonna explain where I've used in this uh, Terraform script and copy.sh uh, which has very basic commands. It is used for like copying uh, a file from temp directory to uh, var uh, www and html folder. So once I install HTTP, I'm gonna explain all this in detail when I go to main.tf. Also index.html, so this I'm copying it to a particular folder. So to give um, uh, this to my HTTP to show when, when I hit uh, the uh, link in browser, okay? And now, so the main thing is main.tf. So as I mentioned, I'm creating a resources in AWS. I've defined my provider as AWS and the region. And I've configured my secret key and access key uh, in my mission. So there, that's why I'm not giving it here. And um, so here I'm only specifying region, which is QS East one. And I'm creating a resource AWS instance and I'm giving logical name as web. And here I'm all coding all the values like mandatory values like EMI, instance type, all those values I'm all coding it. If you want to make a little more um, clean, uh, so what you can do is you can use a uh, uh, variable.tf and you can define all the values there and you can, define, uh, you can refer those variables here. So my EMI is this ID for this particular uh, region. For every region, there will be different different EMI IDs. And instance type is T2 micro and the key name. So once I create this AWS instance, so I want to verify, right, whether file provisioner has really copied the files or not. To do that, I want to log into that machine. So I want to use my this key to log into this particular AC2 instance. So once I create that machine, so what I need to do is um, I need to like log into that machine, right? So that's the reason I'm just giving AWS uh, underscore INY underscore lappy. That is the key which is already available in my AWS account. And the user data, so I'm giving, I'm using some function in Terraform which is file. So file, it just reads this file and it is supplied to this particular tag, okay? And httpd.sh, I have basic commands to install HTTPD onto my uh, EC2 machine. So, which is very simple. I'm just doing m install HTTPD hyphen uh, y and uh, system CTL start HTTPD. Okay. So, by using which I'm gonna install HTTPD. And after that, I'm using VPC underscore security group IDs. So here, uh, so if I don't give also, it will gonna create EC2 instance with a default security group. But I don't want to do that. So I want to have my own security groups. So that's the reason what I'm doing here is, so I'm doing a resource uh, AWS security group. I'm creating a custom security group. So with a uh, ingress because uh, 22 is required. Uh, so once um, the machine is created, as I mentioned earlier, I want to copy some files by using file provisioner. I want to check whether it has really copied or not. So that's the reason I wanted 22. And uh, I'm using, I'm installing HTTPD. So I want to expose AD port by which 
we can access it like that HTTPD outside, outside my machine as well. So that's the reason I'm exposing 80 port as well. And uh, this is the outbound role. So ingress is inbound roles and egress is outbound roles. So this resource uh, security group, I'm using it here. As you can see here, I'm using some interpolation, AWS security group and WebSG is the logical name of this block. I'm using that. So once the AWS security group is created, so it will have ID, right? I'm giving that ID here. And you can have a multiple security group for one EC2 instance. So that's the reason this is an array. So as you can see, this is array format. If I want to use one more, I can you give it by using uh, comma separated values. And I'm using tags here. And now EC2 instance is created. The next thing is, uh, so obviously this, main motive of this video is file provisioner. So I've taken some block which is called as null resource. So null resource is basically used uh, in uh, Terraform to uh, implement standard resource lifecycle, but it will it will not take any further action. That means, so we can execute few things by using this null resource. We can execute this kind of provisioners and uh, we can use a connection block and we can use um, multiple provisioners. Like in my case, I'm using file provisioner. There are other kinds of provisioners also that you can use it in this block. So this provisioner, I can this provisioner block, I can give it in this AWS instance block itself. But I want to make sure once this AWS is instance is created successfully, then only I want to do this provisioner provisioning. So that's the reason I've used null resource. Also, if you see this particular line depends on. So what I'm doing here is like once the AWS instance is created, then only I'm executing this block. So that's the reason I have segregated this, um, the file provisioner and instance definition. And inside this um, null resource, I have defined uh, a connection block. So my file provisioner will work on two things. One is um, two connection uh, provisioners. Uh, a file provisioner supports two uh, connections, type of connections, which is SSH and WinRM. So in my case, I'm using uh, SSH. And also, a Terraform should have an information, right? So even Terraform will gonna log into that machine uh, in the background, and then it will gonna transfer the file from our local to that newly created machine. So that's why I want to give username. But so by using which user I need to log in and also what is the IP of that? So again, if you see here, I've used the interpolation AWS in the underscore instance web. This is a logical name of this block and then I'm using a public IP. So public IP, once this is created, uh, public IP will be available for me. So that's public IP I'm using. So I'm giving it to host variable and uh, the user is ec2 user and here i don't want to log in by using password so if you there is a way like you can define your password as well so if you see here ssh and the user password host so everything uh, they have defined it here but in my case i don't want to do that i want to use my pem file again if you see here i'm using aws function file and then um, i'm using that pem file so with this, like I've defined the connection. Now with this connection, what Terraform should execute, I'm defining it in provisioner. This is basically file. So file provisioner is what I'm using. Here I'm defining source and destination. What is a source? So in my case, source is here itself, index.html and copy.sh. So these two things I'm copying onto the EC2 machine, which I'm creating by using Terraform. And uh, so destination, I want to copy to a temp folder in EC2. So I'm giving it here. And this is also same. So you can have multiple provisioners uh, for the same connection. Like um, means inside provisioner also you can define the connection. So in this video, I'll just keep it simple. I have one connection with that, like I'm executing two provisioners. And as I mentioned earlier, I want to create, I want to execute these things once my EC2 instance created successfully. So that's the reason I'm giving, depends on, and I'm giving AWS instance.web. Once that is created, these provisioners will be executed, okay? And uh, so to execute this, I have a machine, 
wherein Terraform is already installed. I have already cloned that code onto my machine. And now what I'll do is I'll do Terraform init. So to initialize my uh, Terraform, this particular folder. So once I do this, I'll execute Terraform, apply, iPhone auto approve. So it'll take a couple of seconds. So meanwhile, we can go to EC2 uh, page. Oh. So as you can see, there is like one mission is getting created and we can see the logs as well. So it is already completed 10 seconds. So maybe I've used uh, user data, right? It will take little time to run. So that's the reason it might take a little more uh, time. Um, usually it takes. So now uh, AWS instance block is executed successfully. Before that, see, as you can see, security group has been uh, created and that security group I'm using inside my web, right? So that is also uh, like created. And after that, as you can see, the null resource, the file provisioner thing, which is executed and it, it has transferred successfully. So now let's go ahead and we will see uh, whether AC2 has been created successfully. Yes, it has been created. Now what we will do, we will log into this machine. And now what I'll do is I'll take one more shell. So let me clear the screen here. So now when I execute this, when I type in S, so this is my new machine. I have already logged into my new machine. So now when I do ls on temp directory, I should be able to see copy.sh and index.html. So let's see the content of that. So, okay, so I need to give the proper path and index.html. So as you can see, the content is also copied. So now this is done. So this is what like file provisioner is used to basically copy the files from machine where you're executing Terraform commands to uh, the newly creating resources in AWS. Okay, and uh, so now, so my file provisioner thing is done. So, so now I want to destroy all the resources. So let me do that, Terraform destroy iPhone auto approve. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have liked the video, please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.